Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Sean Willard, speaker, coach, and author of the book, Have a Life Attack. Today, I'm going to share with you some thoughts that I have around living your purpose. I'm probably best known as the life attack guy, the guy that wrote the book, Have a Life Attack, all about living your purpose. You know, it really started for me back in 2005 when I, I was reading a book. In fact, I can't even tell you the name of the book. I opened the book and the opening stands in that book said, it was a quote by Mark Twain that said, the most important two days in a person's life are the day they're born and the day they discover why. Now I knew why I was born, <laughs> but I didn't know why. But it resonated with me. Maybe it resonates with you as well. Maybe you're also going like, oh, I think I just I kind of closed the book there and I was like, I can't really, tell you what the title of the book was but it was the catalyst that I needed in my life at the time my dad had just passed away I felt a, almost aimless a little bit you know my dad had always been somebody that had really encouraged me and helped me and you know been in my corner my corner man you know as a pharmacist for many many years and I owned the pharmacy at the time but I felt like there's more to the life Certainly more to my life that I could I could be, I could do, I could have. Not talking about success as it's often portrayed out there, but significance. Something deeper. Deep was crying out to deep. And I wanted to know my why. So just a couple of years later, I, I sold my pharmacy in, in the early part of June of 2008. I think it was about June. And, uh, and then I had a very interesting experience. I, I, I went to, to do a talk here in Cape Town uh, on a Thursday evening, slept over at some of our family. And the next morning I woke up and it's, uh, I'm, I'm standing at the side of my bed making this kind of sound, you know. They say it's almost like the sound of the barracuda in the swimming pool when it comes up for air. And it's got that sort of air bubble sort of sound. And my family came running through, Sean, 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 and I just couldn't breathe. You know, for the first probably 30 seconds, I don't know, it felt like eternity to me. I thought it was a nightmare. I thought I, thought I was having this dream until I came face to face with, my, with, with some of our family. And I realized, no, this is, this is real. I could not breathe. You know, and it's, it's a picture of my life at the time. I, I, I felt like I could not breathe. I, I felt like there was, there was definitely more. And fortunately, I survived that. And I say, you know, adversity gives you wings. Well, that certainly made me fly. Because I realized from that moment on, Sean, you've got to live, man. You've got to love and you've got to laugh. You've got to enjoy the journey. So many of us, including myself at that time, and still need to be reminded of it. So destination focused, so task driven, that between where I am now and where I want to be, it's a blur. It's a blur. And yet, that's the most important part. It's, it's, it's the essence. It's everything. It's now. My question to you is, are you living your purpose now? Now, many people, as I coach them, as I speak to them, and specifically as I, as I coach a mentor one-on-one -on -one or one-two in, in a group, people say, Sean, you know, if only this would happen, if, you know, if I could get this job or if I could start that business and, you know, when, when this happens, when I find that relationship, oh, then I'm going to live my purpose. You don't understand, folks. It took me a long time to understand this, half a decade at least, that living your purpose isn't about where you work at. It's about where you work from. It's an inside job. Let me say that again. Living your purpose isn't about where you work at. It's about where you work from. It's an inside job. You know, I, I'm sure there's lots of merit in it. It's sold millions of books, the, the purpose driven life. But I don't, I, I'm not driven by my purpose. I want to tell you, I'm inspired by my purpose. I live the purpose-inspired life, and I want you to live a purpose-inspired life. It's an inside job. I had to go back into an industry and a job and a situation, which, quite honestly, it wasn't my, my dream life. It wasn't what I was wanting to do many years ago. I 
fact, I can still remember phoning my sister, Carl, and saying, man, I just this, why, why am I back here? You know, I've, I'd sold my businesses. I would, I'd now gone and trained with John Maxwell and Les Brown and certified. Um, and, and now I was standing in a situation where I, I needed to be back in a, in, in a job situation. To say it was tough is the euphemism of the century. Now, when you find your why, you find your way. When you find your why, you find your way. And you can live in that way. You can live your purpose wherever you are right now. Now, be my experience that when you get to that place of peace, when you in that place of I'm living my why, I'm living my purpose, no matter what you're doing at the time, in that relationship that maybe not working out the way you wanted to, in that job where you didn't necessarily see yourself in that position, when you, when, when you live your why, right there, right there, doors begin to open. Things begin to flow. But it took me years. First of all, and I'm going to share these points as I bring this to a point, because I said to you, I'm going to teach you and train you about how to live your purpose. It took me years to, first of all, gain awareness. I mean, most of us are sleepwalking through life. I think it's Les Brown that said, you know, most of us die at, at 25 and just get buried at, at 72. It's like, we, we've, you know, we're living life at half mast. We've got a heartbeat, you know, we fog a mirror, but, but we're not really living. We're just kind of going through life in a semi, semi sort of dream state. And my hope, my prayer, my desire for you, those of you watching right now that this is resonating with, is that you would wake up, that you would gain awareness. Now, for me, part of that gaining awareness was my quite rather dramatic experience. You know, I don't want, I don't wish that on anybody, but it took me still another half a decade to really wake up, to say, Sean, you can live your purpose. What's resonating with your heart? What blows your hair back? You can see my hair's been blown back. It's been blown off by my purpose. What brings you alive? What, what could you talk about, do every day of your life, even if you weren't paid for it? That passion deep within you, to gain awareness of that thing. I lacked awareness. So I had to gain awareness, number one. Number two, I had to acknowledge this. I had to acknowledge this. I had to receive it. I, I had to realize that this was my inner purpose. I had to hear the roar of that lion and realize, that's me, Simba. You are more than that which you have become. I had to realize that. I had to realize, man, there's a lion in this little lion cub. And the same for you. Whether you want to be a speaker, whether you want to be a coach, whether you want to be a sports coach, whether you want to be a ballerina, whether you want to be a dancer, whether you want to be a professional tennis player, whether you want to start your own business, or be just where you're at, living your purpose, you know that you know that you know, and you acknowledge it. You become aware, and then you acknowledge it. Because I, you know, I was, I was scared. <laughs> I self-sabotaged my own success. What if, what if I don't make it? What if I, I, I fail? What if I forget my words? What if I, you know, I'm just miserable, <laughs> useless? All those things. For years, I had to work through that. First, to become aware and then to acknowledge. And then thirdly, to act. So many of us get to the side of that swimming pool swimming pool right we've we've been in the baby pool <laughs> safe and warm <laughs> yellow water we now go to the shallow end you know the armbands have come off maybe mom or dad are standing there bigger brother sister standing in the pool and saying jump you can do it i become aware i, 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 can, I can swim in this pool I, I, I acknowledge that this is what i want to do but i stand on the edge and i get that white knuckle fever my <laughs> your toes go, your knees begin to shake, dry mouth syndrome, and then all the excuses come until you act, you jump, you believe, you can do it. 
As I say, my hope, my prayer for you right now is that you would wake up. You'd wake up to the fact that, and if this resonates with you, you're waking up right now. Then maybe my voice is at Simba. <laughs> that roar that you needed to hear today as you watch this video. That it's time, my friend, for you to live your purpose. Don't wait for circumstances to change. Don't wait for that new job. Don't wait for that new uh, contract. Don't wait for someone to come and stroke your ego, whatever. Do it now. Become aware. Acknowledge, acknowledge the passion in your heart. And if you need help with that, get a coach, get a mentor. Let, reach out. Let's connect. Coaches and mentors have changed my life. Changed my life. And then act. Take action in the direction of living in a purpose-inspired life. I hope this has been helpful to you today. This has been Sean, speaker, coach, and trainer, the Life Attack Guy. And if you've enjoyed this video, like it, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell so you know when my next video comes out, I'll be shooting out lots of videos about communication, inspiration, personal growth, and so much more. I trust that this has really resonated with your heart. Cheers for now. God bless.